uh, Meenakshi Lekhi ji is with us and I'm, I'm, we are really honored that she uh, spared time to, uh, you know, associate and, uh, uh, you know, speak to our healthcare community and the entire uh, nation also that uh, we stand with our healthcare workers and we feel a really uh, heartfelt uh, gratitude for them. Uh, uh, Meenakshi ji, uh, you have been, uh, you have seen that the government of India has done really remarkable work in terms of uh, providing the timely response to this pandemic. And we have also seen that despite uh, some such cases where the, uh, which Suchinji also identified, we have seen that government has come very, very proactively with the ordinances, with all kind of messages to the public that doctors and healthcare workers need to be appreciated and we really uh, were humbled to see when the prime minister gave a clarion call for you know showing the gratitude uh, by clapping or by uh, you know putting the the diyas at the houses or by showering the flower petal by the military choppers on hospitals so uh, we also show our gratitude minakshi ji to you and your uh, entire uh, fraternity of policy makers, lawmakers, and the government of India, and all state governments, and would like to hear from you uh, what you feel about this millions of workforce who are fighting on the forefront of uh, saving our society, our uh, humanity from this pandemic. Thank you very much, uh, Kamalji. Uh, gratitude uh, uh, towards everyone who has been in on the battlefront uh, and especially handling the front line. But today I want to remember all those who have lost their lives due to Corona. And uh, uh, because that is where my, my heartfelt gratitude starts from that th in those dead bodies, it could be any one of us also. And uh, those who have lost their lives to Corona also uh, are indicative of the fact that uh, as Dr. Sachin said that we never called this back, this pandemic on ourselves. It happened and you are thrown into uh, an ailment and you have no other way but to fight it out. And you have uh, chosen a good method because I don't know how people like me could have gone to so many people and find them, though it's a different matter that uh, I'm personally visiting all the corona centers in my area. I've been uh, going to the hospitals uh, in my area. I've been trying to meet people, trying to arrange blood donation camps, trying to set up uh, uh, certain C robots to be given to people uh, who are working in these areas. I'm trying to do my bit, but Nothing is adequate, nothing is enough. The more you do, the more need is there. And the more we thank them, the more compassion and gratitude uh, comes out because the fact is, while our soldiers are fighting a battle on the uh, uh, outer frontiers, uh, because the two have kind of come together and from the same country, uh, Soldiers are fighting a different kind of battle and our doctors, so auxiliary staff, nurses, uh, technicians, um, Safai Karamcharis, they are battling a different kind of uh, war uh, within the country. And we have seen the kind of dedication towards mankind, humanity, which has been shown in these times. And uh, everybody is together in this war, which is a very, very... Uh, a, a, a very nice feeling to me, to everyone. And as you said, the crisis brings the best amongst us. And crisis is normally a situation when feeling of brotherhood, friendliness, and uh, everything else comes. So th that is where people forgot that India, even if we, we may not be the richest country in the world, but we are richest in terms of human relation, value to life. And uh, our, um, um, our sense of culture where human life is prioritized over material things. And that sense has come out very well during this uh, crisis. I remember when we started uh, the 
rescue and welfare work. At that point in time, I was told by uh, my uh, party that uh, every MP needs to at least provide ration to about 30,000 people. And uh, I can tell you today with a uh, lot of humility that at that point in time, I was in shock. I said, how do you kind of provide to 30,000 people? Uh, and um, uh, it's such a huge task that that kind of feeling comes in the beginning. You know, you're a bit uh, exhausted. And then you won't realize that a few lakh people have been reached out. And, and all that could happen because there were Corona warriors on the ground. There were people helping us on the ground. And we reached out to people when people were afraid to go into those by lanes. These people were going into those areas, carrying out ration distribution. Then immediately, we all know how WHO handled the crisis, the kind of contrary opinions which were coming. So I remember when I was reading about all this, a friend of mine is a, a professor in um, uh, Princeton. He sent me a mail saying that uh, uh, kindly start a movement for everyone to start wearing masks and face covers. And uh, face covers because empty shirt material is supposed to be the best, so start using that. So I wrote back that no, this is contraindicated because WHO is saying you're not supposed to wear face covers. He said that no, read up uh, the Korea, uh, how South Korea has managed to get out of it. It's because of face covers. Face covers are very, very important. And that I'm talking of 22nd, 23rd of March, that time. And we started making face covers at that point in time. We were the first ones to start doing that and distributing it to people. And lo and behold, that became the norm and government also came up with the policy, etc. So I think overall the experience has been gratitude is one word, a small word, but the most important word, because it is because of this feeling that the communities could come together, the communities could take right decision. And there was never an end. Even today, if, if 50,000 people send me a requisition that we want Russian, I can give it to you in writing that with great sense of pride, I can take it on myself and I'll say, okay, we will arrange, just give us a little time. It may take two, three days, but we will, we will be able to do it. That kind of uh, himmat also comes because everybody has got into this feeling that there are people out there trying to protect all of us. Life is what is most important. There are doctors in the wards. There are nurses in the hospital, the auxiliary workers, everyone has put their heart and soul in saving all of us. And whatever little we can do, we must do. And I think everybody has, every sensible person that I should say, has shown that uh, affection, a feeling of respect towards the, uh, towards the, uh, the people who are on the ground. And I will add police. Uh, today we read in the papers that eight cops have been killed and these are the very people who were enforcing lockdown. When people were taking it so easy that it doesn't matter, everyone can go to the market together, have furlough around the place. These are the people who were, who were playing with their lives and trying to push people inside their homes because that kind of sensitivity which was shown, which was required to be shown by the society was missing and they were missing in action. And these were the people who were trying to drill some sense in the heads who were, who were not willing to obey the orders of lockdown. And today, the number of deaths, the kind of deaths, especially people who are, say, 60, 70, and I'm very sure if this pandemic had not come, if the kind of mismanagement which did not happen in the beginning had not happened, these people would have lived for another 20, 25 years at least. So, namaste, thank you, everyone. Uh, Dr. Sitchin mentioned about one hospital, that was Cygnus. While I thank everyone and a sense of uh, gratitude prevails all over the efforts all of us have put in. Uh, uh, no one can replace the place of doctors and the way Prime Minister explained 
uh, in his uh, on the doctor's day tweet that he compared a chikitsak a doctor with a mother and the reason is that a mother will do anything and everything for the child and again two words compassion and care is what you get so if compassion and care are the features which are common to the mother and the doctor all i can say is that selflessness which we have seen in these days in the medical fraternity or people associated with uh, uh, medical field is unheard of unseen before and covid brought all that to the forefront that this was the this was the oath all these people took when they passed out of the colleges they studied from and hippocrates oath was not a hypocrisy oath and that is where we all come forward to thank because i have seen in my life that many a times a lot of good people do a lot of good work in this world and world is centered around good people because there are good people so world keeps running and good people do not seek anything in return they are not doing because they want anything back they do because that's how they are made that that's how they are cut out that's how their heart bleeds and 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 that's their intention so when they don't need anything the least a human effort requires is a pat on the back and a and a feeling of respect towards them uh just a thank you note uh, just two words thank you for you've done very well that's that's all kind of uh, uh, reestablishing that faith uh, is what everybody needs and i think uh, that is what society needs to give to these people and i will say that you've given me an opportunity to say this thank you you're running it like a gratitude week i cannot but thank you as well for giving this opportunity but before i close my address i just want to say a few things which also uh, you know uh, were not nice and this reminds me a story of merchant of venice which we all must have read in school that there was a problem in the fraternity some people i i have paid some bills for some people who you know like a tailor uh, somebody who used to stitch my clothes he went into the hospital family paid up something like 2 and 1/2 lakhs or more and the person collapsed and he died and then they wanted a lakh and 82000 more and would not release his dead body those incidents have also come forward so while there are people who were nasty to the doctors who were horrible to the nurses and lacked a sense of civility and good behavior and good civic sense there are some hospitals and agencies which have also acted like shylocks so i think when we talk of goodness we have to somewhere take care of this aspect as well that there are sharks amongst us who feed on the bodies and that system also needs to be corrected and some policy makers who allowed this situation to escalate to this level in delhi i remember delhi was really not badly affected there were less than 100 people and less than 100 people if 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 i could make that you know if i was a kind of handling the situation directly i would have ensured that those people are in inside the agency's place lock stock and barrel nobody comes out because it's a question of life of so many thousands and lakhs of people till they get cured so you can handle situation differently and that was missing in delhi that administration was missing in delhi and when you're planning corona centers i mean today it's everywhere so people are you know asking for tests and people have changed their attitudes 
but when you are planning there are green zones there are colonies which are free from corona there has not been a single case allowing those areas to have corona centers so that people from outside can come and infect those areas from where do these people get this kind of sense so i think even at the administrative level a kind of gas which we have seen a lack of senselessness which we have seen and marta kya nahi karta when delhi is the whole of delhi is a red zone what do you do now you have to allow everyone and flourish that's a separate story but when it is a time when you can control and you can make right decisions that's where i felt agencies were missing in action i talked about ration if a single mp only i mean initially i started on my own from my pocket i started because you don't know where to go what to do and and then people just poured in and just came along and and i think that is what leadership is all about end of the day i started realizing it's not the fun is not in asking and never asked anyone for anything but it just kept coming and people wanted to help and and i think that feeling can come only when people have faith in somebody that you know things will happen in a certain way unfortunate for all of us in delhi things didn't happen like that uh there was a there was a immense gap maharashtra delhi we saw how tablighi jamaat i mean since most of you are doctors you will understand that how hospitals and how administrations responded tablighi jamaat while we were handling people who have come from outside the country suddenly this tablighi jamaat comes in people are allowed to have a, a full on party and in that party they infect everyone and when they are taken to the hospital the misbehave with the nurses the administration in the column because you are supposed to trace the ailment you are supposed to track the contacts and you are supposed to treat all of them interesting enough when it comes to tracing you trace because they all tested positive when it comes to tracking the column of tablighi jamaat is removed from the hospital records and from tablighi jamaat you make it into um nct delhi you still identified it will because when you say nct delhi you know what does it mean then nct delhi is converted into special group chalo no problem that is also understandable by some name you don't want to use word tablighi you want to call special group it's okay you do that but then from there the tracking should happen then you mess the whole data you remove the column where who are you going to track there after Who are, you, who are you going to trace there after so no tracking no tracing and definitely the pandemic spreads i mean this is the kind of the level of thinking and people like me could just do nothing but you know when people are coming to you for help you have to help people and all this i i thought i will address because dr sachin mentioned it in the beginning there these are some colonies which did not even have a single case it's not about them being rich or poor rich pay the taxes so that we all can run covid centers otherwise covid centers would not be running so discrimination when it comes to death and life saying rich or poor because some people want to make a little extra money is as terrible and and it is here that i feel the whole society needs to work together and if nothing i think covid has shown each one of us that end of the day how much do you need how much do all of us need put together you need two meals a day you don't even need four meals at least that's what i have learned that i don't need to eat four times a day i can do with two meals you need just a few pair of dresses keep changing because nobody can see your face your face is covered with a mask your life is more important and what goes with you if you pop up any of us can still uh, because pandemic is still around the corona is not gone then all that you have done in your life to people to others helping them caring for them that good work will go with you i think that kind of realization has dawned because of corona a lot of us are living a very materialistic life never care for what's happening in the country what's happening with others what's happening with our poor brothers and sisters 
how migrant laborers were treated in the city, I can only cry for that. And I was the one who was feeling so bad that if anybody's responsible for causing corona pandemic across the country, it is Delhi. Because Delhi allowed those people and did not care for them. When ration, 36,000, 37,000 tons of ration was given free of cost to Delhi, you have a person who's sticking his face for distributing that ration and saying, Kejriwal ne aapko free me ration diya. Is that what is needed at this time? You know, my, my, I, my heart is welled up. I'm pretty emotionally connected to all these things because one has seen it happen in front of the eyes when you feel so helpless that even people think God knows what an MP can do, but you realize you're, you're helpless, you can do nothing. And that minuscule amount that you can do is also with the support of people. I today use that opportunity to say my repeated thanks, 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 and thank you all. May God bless each one of you because you have helped lives. You have allowed people to live longer. You have given family their smiles. Maybe not everyone has survived, but those who have survived have survived because of you. I can only thank you. I have no other words. All those people who are who are part of administration, who are who are still on the ground, uh, who are related to medical field, who are cops, everyone, everyone. I can say, police did a fantastic job. Day in and day out, we are seeing what military is doing. I am seeing how people are responding to the call of deleting Chinese app and Chinese goods. Uh, PPE, you gave an example. We've seen how how a uh, 10,000 bed hospital has been set up in Radha Swami Satsang. And this is what Delhi has only done. And, and uh, it, when you have the right leadership, that's how things move. So uh, I will use this opportunity to thank Mr. Shah also on your platform because uh, he took charge. I mean, and, and put everyone came along, everything happened. Thank you very, very much. May God bless this country. May God bless Delhi. Uh, may the right thinking people make the right decision. And uh, the wrong thinking stop making decisions. They allow right thinking to make decisions. Uh, Jai Thank you so much, Meenakshi ji. It was a really a poignant uh, message. And uh, we could feel that emotions which are, you know, filling up inside you. And... Uh, it definitely would have been a very, very uh, difficult and arduous journey for you also to ensure that kind of community support, which you said you have been, you know, doing and you did a wonderful job, wonderful service for the, the people whom you, you know, actually you, you are responsible to. And, and this is, this is something very, very uh, moving for any, each one of us.